The table below shows the weight in grams that each of the 27 participants in the weight loss program lost in total over the first four weeks. Okay, so let's just try and get an idea of this. So there are two people who lost between 1,000 and 1,500 grams, for example, and then there are five people who lost somewhere between 3,000 and 3,000, and then there's one person who lost 4,500, or somewhere between 4,500 and 5,000 grams. Okay, so that's sort of how that table's working over there. First question, estimate the average, okay? Average, aha, so that means the mean in grams. Okay, so we need to know how to calculate average from a table. So the way that it works is there are two people over here, but you've got to take the mass as somewhere directly in the middle. Okay, so the mass in the middle would be 1,250. This one would be 1,750. Okay, so there are two people who um, who weigh, we can actually do this on the calculator. I'm just thinking, should we, should we, should we? Yeah, we can just do this on the calculator because remember, um, there is a way that you can calculate the average using your calculator. Um, so the way that that would work, let me quickly show you. So what I would tell you to do first is to open up the frequency column on your calculator. So the way that you do that is you, okay, first of all, let's put our calculator back into the normal mode. Okay, so first step, put it into stat mode like that and then go to option number one. Now go shift mode and go down to stat. So you have to click down to stat, which is number four, and then put the frequency column on. So say number one, so it's on, there we go. Now for the first one, you're not gonna use a thousand, you're not gonna use a thousand five hundred, you're gonna use the number in the middle. So a thousand two hundred and fifty equals. But now in the frequency column, there are two of those people. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go fill in all of the values on this calculator. I'll see you guys soon. Well, not see you guys, but I'll be with you guys soon. So there we go, I've entered in all the values. So we want the average, right? So what we do is we go to, you push AC, then you go uh, shift one, and now we're gonna go variance. And now we don't want the standard deviation, we want to go for number two okay, which is the X with the line at the top. That is another name or another symbol, sorry, for average or mean. So we press that one and we say equals. And there we go, 3009.26, if we round to two decimal places, 3009.26. Okay, and that makes sense. I mean, the average is usually somewhere here in the middle because that's usually where there's more people. If you look there, four, fives, and sevens, whereas these ones are twos and ones. So the average is usually somewhere here in the middle, and that is around 3,000. So if our answer was like 1,000, then you know something's not right. Okay, and then if you didn't want to use the calculator method, you would have to say 1,250 times two plus 1,000, whoopsie, 1,750 times three, plus 2,250 times three. And you would go on for all of those. And then at the end, you would divide by how many people there are, which is 27. But that's also the same if you add these up. That'll also be 27. And that would give you the exact same answer. Okay. Okay, so draw an ogive on the, on the data, of the data on the grid provided. Okay, let me go get the grid for us. All right, so there's the grid. Okay, now, when we do a cumulative frequency, there's two main things I want to mention to you guys. Number one, we don't use the frequency. Instead, we use something called cumulative frequency. So let's quickly go work out the cumulative frequency in this little column over here, which I'll make, and we'll just call it CF, but it's called cumulative frequency. So the first row is always the same, so that's two, but then you plus, so two plus three is five. 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 5 is 17, 24, 26, 27. Ah, and there are 27 people, so that makes sense. We've done that correctly. Now, the next thing, okay, so you don't use that. Um, the next thing is a lot of students, they want to use these values that are in the middle, like we did when we calculated the average, but we actually don't. We use these values. Okay, these are the values that you use on an OGIVE curve. It's the ones at the end, and then you're going to use these values as your um, as your y-axis. And then another thing is you don't always start at the zero. You actually start at this number 
over here. So whatever that number is, that's your start. Okay, so there's actually a lot of important information here. So we start with that number, then we use those numbers, and then we use the cumulative frequency. Okay, so we go put a little dot at a thousand. That's always step one. Now we're gonna go to 1,500, and the Y value there must be a two, okay? So we go to 1,500, and we go up to two, and we place our little dot, see that? Then we go to 2,005, so 2,005, we place a little dot over there, and then we go to 2,508, like that, and then 3,012, 3,517, 4,024, and then 4,526, and 5,027. There we go. Then you're gonna neatly try and draw a line or like a nice curve going through all of those, and it always does this type of shape. You should always do something like that. Then you know you've done it correct, okay? So up like that, and then it goes flat, or flattish. All right, so there I've gone and drawn mine. Okay, so that's the Ogive. Draw an OGAV, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now the next question. The weight loss program guarantees a loss of 800 grams per week if a person follows the program without cheating. Hence, determine how many of the participants had an average weight loss of 800 or more over the first four weeks. Okay, so now in these types of questions, you're gonna use the OGAV. So they wanna know, ah, I was a bit confused. I was like, 800? but everyone lost more than 800, but this caught me out. This one says over four weeks. This one says 800 grams per week. Ah, okay. So if you had to multiply this by four to see how much it would be over four weeks, um, it would be 3,200, 3,200. So they wanna know who lost 800 grams per week or more. So 3,200 over a four week period. So how many people did that or more? Now what's interesting is we can't use the table. They want you to use the cumulative frequency graph. Let me explain why. If you use the table, you only have access to the people who were more than 3,000 or more than 3,500, but you don't get access to 3,200. But on a cumulative frequency, you've got access to everything. So you can just go to 3,200, which is somewhere between here, it's probably there. And then what you do is you just go up, now remember, they do give you a range of values you can get as an answer. There we go. And then you go to the side, and you get to about 13. Now if you got to 14 or 12, they would probably still mark that correct. Okay, but now don't say that that's the answer. Be careful. We know that that's 13, okay? But sometimes you have to minus. So they wanna know who lost more, okay? So would that be these people, or would that be these people? Well, it would be these people because they lost 3,200 or more. So we want to know how many people are here. So we want to know um, how many people are here. Because look, if you go up, then you go to the side, that's where it goes, right? If you go up here and then you go to the side, that's where it goes. We don't want to know these people, okay? Because that's that's... Um, that's these lower values. So, okay, so there were 27 people in total, not 28, right? It's not always that number. Um, our graph goes up to 27, and we went to 13. So that means there are, um, you're gonna have to say 27 minus 13, and that'll give you 14 people. So sometimes when you get your answer here on the y-axis, sometimes that is the answer, but sometimes you're gonna have to minus. I went and checked on the memo and they did allow for between 12 and 14 as your final answer. They actually got they actually got an answer of 13 on the memo, okay? But that's fine because they said that you're allowed to have an answer between 12 and 14. It all depends on how you draw the graph. So you're never gonna get the exact answer to them, but luckily we do fit into the 12 to 14 range because we got 14, so that would be correct. But if you got 13 or 12, that's also correct.